Nicole Rose and Eric Conklin, two men looking for work and living in emergency shelter at the Volunteers of America in Binghamton. That's where we first met Rose. Text message I just received from CR England Trucking. He had been unsuccessful in his search for a job. Two days later, Rose got some good news. This is the third floor. This is where I live at. Not a job, but a more permanent place to live. This is my room. I moved in Friday night. It's still at the VOA, but the studio apartment gives Rose more independence. Never lived really in an apartment by myself. Meanwhile, different things on there. Conklin is still waiting for a breakthrough. Patricia McCormick understands that feeling. <laughs> McCormick volunteers at the Salvation Army as the receptionist and once called the streets her home. I felt <laughs> the worst I've probably ever felt in my life. In 2013, McCormick was staying in emergency housing at the YWCA when church friends helped her find an apartment. The bell. I've never heard the bell. McCormick volunteers with Eric Conklin and knows firsthand how quickly one event can change your life. It seems like it was there, like, in their control to not end up on the streets, but unless you live through it, you really don't understand that it's not always in your control. Eric says the Salvation Army helps him survive. I mean, you're homeless. A program like this could literally be the difference between eating, you know, once eating today or maybe not eating for a week. Services like the food pantry at the Salvation Army, along with shelter programs like those at the VOA, help people to get back on their feet. Most people, when they, when, especially if they end up going from a shelter into one of the supportive housing programs, by the time they leave that program, they really have stabilized, they've developed the life skills they need, they have employment or they're in school or they have their benefits in place. There were no programs when I was coming up, you know, so I saw all the bad influences, you know, and I'm, I followed them, you know. I didn't have tools to show me to be better than what I saw. I just accepted it as the norm. Even with the programs put in place, the transition takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. You're in a bad spot now, but you you can get out of it. Eric is finding his past is a continual roadblock to moving forward. Computer systems will see a red flag on your application for the gaps in employment, and you won't even get the interview to try and explain that, hey, I'm a recovering alcoholic now. You don't get that opportunity to say that, hey, I'm doing better now. I just need a chance. A second chance is exactly what Cole Rose got. After submitting countless job applications, yesterday, Rose was hired. He is now working at a company called Energy Resources. It's a small step towards a bigger dream. When I had my own truck, most of my family drive truck. My brothers, my sisters, my cousins. And it's just like I want to do the same thing. Conklin isn't giving up on his goals either. The worst thing you can ever do is give up hope. There's always hope whether you realize it or not. In Binghamton, Faith Jussie for Fox 40 HD News.